everyone, it's Anthony with AJK Beauty and I'm back with another video. Today I'm super excited to actually be doing um, an unboxing of quite a few products that I picked over up over the past week or that have come in the mail, so I'm super excited um, to show you guys. It's gonna be awesome! I'm actually super excited about this. Um, so yeah, let's. there's a lot to go over, so let's just jump right in. Keep in mind that um, Full reviews on all of my products, more detailed reviews can be found on ajkbeauty.wordpress.com and then you also can check me out on Instagram at ajkbeauty as well. So um, let me set these down here and we'll just um, jump right in. Let me start with the uh, Face Tori subscription box just because um, I had thought this was going to come in last week and I didn't get it until um, over the weekend. So I didn't get a chance to do an unboxing video of it last week, uh, but we have it here today. And in fact, I've already covered three of these um, sheet masks in a previous unboxing video from a couple weeks ago from their Lux Plus box. Um, they repeat a couple of those masks here, but I'm totally cool with that because I like sharing my masks with friends and family, especially if they're good ones that usually come from Face Story. So um, this is their um, seven Lux box, and this has seven masks in it. So let's go ahead and get this open. I haven't done any research on these <laughs> this this stuff yet, so I'll probably be using the little cheat sheet that usually comes in here. Um, but yeah, they always give you a fun little card and the boxes just keep glowing. Super cool. And yeah, let's get this thing open. Um, all right, I'm just going to take, yeah, I'm just going to take them all out. That way that gives me some more room here. So the boxes always look so nice and they have tissue paper in them and they just do a really good uh, presentation when they send these boxes out. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's go over the ones that were in the other the other box that I ordered just to get them out of the way. I've already covered them. So, yeah, uh, the first one is going to be from the Face Story brand itself. This is their Let's Talk Vitality Mask. Shea butter, pomegranate extract in here. It's supposed to kind of moisturize the skin while plumping and hydrating it and just kind of giving you that radiance. So... Um, this is a cotton sheet mask, I believe. Yeah, cotton sheet mask. And um, I've had such good luck with all of their other masks. So um, I doubt that this one will be any different. So like I said, I've already covered it. So I'm just going to move right along. Um, the next one is from Audiul. And it is their um, Juice Cleanse Mask Raspberry and Lentil. Um, so this one, I've used one similar last year, um, but what's cool about it is it's actually a kind of two-phase mask in that this side is the actual dry mask that has vitamin C, dry vitamin C little spots in the mask itself. And then you separate this half, open it up, and you dump it inside there. And then the essence activates the vitamin C to create some extra brightening power from the mask. So... Um, pretty interesting concept, and I'm excited to give this one a try. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then the last one is for is from Wang Ji So, and this one is their Centella Repairing Mask. Um, just a hydrating, soothing mask with a ton of Centella Asiatica in it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try all three of these out. I'm, I'm hoping they'll be good. Beyond that, um, some of the other masks in the 7 Lux box are um, an Alicia Koi Re Revitalizing Ampule Solution Mask. This one looks like it's geared towards nourishment and it has ceramides and coconut oil. Um, yeah, it looks really interesting. I don't think I've ever used anything from this brand, but I've seen them, I think, at a CVS um, at one point. So yeah, interesting. Um, this one, let's see. Let's see, this one is the... Da -da 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 -da. Um, NOHJ Skin Mom, Ma, Mun Blueberry Wine Mask. Oh, what a name. Um, oh, this is really pretty. You know, I've used, um, some masks from this brand before, and their packaging is always really cool. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's all kind of like a holographic mask. That's really interesting. Um, but according to the little cheat sheet here, this one has blueberry extract and wine extract. 
Um, I found wine extract to be clarifying and really uh, brightening. So um, interesting. I actually did not know this was going to be in here. It's an interesting combination. It looks like it might have honey too. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Awesome. Yeah, it has honey extract, milk extract. Cool. Um, so yeah, this one looks really interesting. I think I've, I've been a fan of their masks. And I think that this is the brand that some of their masks have like a lace pattern to them. It's uh, quite different. So yeah. Um, next one is from Yada. This is the brightening jelly mask. Um, I've used, or jelly pack, I've actually used a couple of these. I think I've actually used this one before. Um, the consistency of the essence is actually like a jelly or like a gel quality, so it's really thick. But um, from what I remember, it absorbs really, really quickly, and it just feels uh, very intensely hydrating. Like your skin soaks up that jelly, and it just does a really good job. So um, I'm interested to try this again, this one again, because it has been a little bit since I've used one. I think it was probably like last summer, so... Um, and then the last one, I'm saving for this one for last, is from the Lotus. I um, was so excited that uh, this mask was coming in this box because the Lux Plus um, box that I ordered had the cleanser that I've been dying to try for a long time, had the cleanser from the same brand. So now I've got a sheet mask from this brand. It's their soothing and whitening mask. So... Um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that the formula might be similar to the cleanser as far as their active ingredients. Obviously, Lotus is going to be one. Um, but yeah, um, these are all made in Jeju too. So pretty cool um, little mask here. And I think out of all of these, this is the one I'm, look I'm most looking forward to um, because I've heard such good things about the brand. It's kind of like a higher end, I guess, Lux brand. So excited, always excited to try all of these. So. Um, yeah, that's it for the um, April 7 Lux box from Face Story that came in. Um, I'll be trying these out over the next, you know, few weeks or so and making sure to include those in my upcoming videos. So be sure to keep a lookout for those. Okay, so um, the next one that I wanted to go over with you guys is my shipment from Glow Recipe. So let's grab that box. Um, not a ton of stuff in here, but a couple things that I've been looking forward to trying. So, or at least one thing. Um, so let's get this one open. Da, da, da. There's a lot of tape on this. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, packing slip. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, cool. So, more sheet masks, obviously. So we'll go over those first. Oh, they gave us, or gave me a little sample of the Lee Ji Hom um, Grow Vita Propolis Ampule. Ampule so that's nice. Um, these masks, honestly, I just needed to kind of hit my shipping and I actually had a discount code. So, but they looked really interesting. Um, they, I guess they're supposed to be super well-fitting masks. They're called the um, Second Skin Masks from Bryce Skin. Um, so they come in a uh, radiance, a hydration, and an AC control. And so um, they just looked really interesting. I hadn't um, really dove too much into this brand or, or these masks at all through Glow Recipe, but um, like I said, I just needed something to kind of fill out the rest of my, to meet my shipping requirements. So I figured might as well give them a try. Um, so yeah, soothing um, and repairing, moisturizing, brightening, um, Lots of good buzzwords there, so looking forward to give the, giving these a shot. Um, and then um, this one from, I think it's psych psychology, but it's spelled just a little differently, is called the Bright Tomorrow Renewing Mask Pack. This looks like it's a fairly newly launched brand or curated brand on Glow Recipe. And so usually when it's a whole new line of products, um, sometimes I'll just go for the sheet mask because it's the most affordable option and you kind of get a feel for the style and the formulation of the brand as well as a lot of times the key ingredients or the featured ingredients are kind of sa the same across the board. So you can get an idea if it's going to be potentially irritating. Um, sometimes that's not always the case, but um, these all, this brand looked like it was kind of targeted all towards one thing. And um, so I figured I'd give this a shot just to see how it felt. And then if that goes well, then I'll dive into the rest of the, the line. So yeah, um, Bright Tomorrow Renewing Mask Pack. 
And I love when packages are like super simplistic and minimalistic and clean. It just gives it that kind of like clinical vibe. And I always feel like I expect those masks to deliver a little bit more for some reason, but yeah. Um, but the thing that I am most excited about is the da, 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 um, the Glow Recipe Avocado um, Sleep Mask, but I got it as the set that has the um, little eye mask on it as well, or in it as well. Um, this product has a ton of great reviews and everybody loves it, but when it initially came out, I was hesitant to buy, hesitant to buy it because I kept hearing that it was specifically for dry, dry skin or normal skin. And I think even on the package, um, I feel like it even said, oh yeah, dry to normal skin. So I was like, mm, that's not really me. I'm combination to oily. And in fact, I, I typically don't play very well with sleeping masks. They tend to be a little too occlusive and I end up sometimes getting breakouts pretty immediately from them. But um, that's kind of changed a lot since I started incorporating facial oils and more oil-based products slowly into my skincare routine. Not only has my skin kind of changed to more normal combination as opposed to full-on oily, but I feel like it just can ha it can handle heavier creams and lotions now uh, way more than it used to. And I live in a super dry climate, so um, in Colorado, so my skin I think was always craving that deeper hydration. But I don't know if it wasn't if it was because I wasn't properly exfoliating or there there was just other skin issues going on that I just didn't do well with night creams. But things are kind of changing. I'm able to use more oil based products, facial oils. And then I saw a video from Sarah and Christine where they talk about how to mix and match the watermelon glow sleeping mask with this one. And they said that really these two masks can be, or those two masks can be used for any skin type. It's just about how you use them, um, whether it be to use it almost like a wash off mask as opposed to a leave on all night. So it just gives you some kind of immediate um, hydration and nourishment as opposed to leaving it on longer. So I think there's ways you can play with these masks. So I, after I watched it, I was like, I'm totally sold. My Sephora store locally didn't have any more that had the eye mask. So of course I went online, I was like, I must have the eye mask because I have the watermelon one too. So now I've got one of each. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to kind of play around with this mask and the watermelon mask and interchange them and see what works best. But so far, I've been loving the Watermelon Glow Mask. I'll do a full review on that at some point. And then um, I might actually start incorporating this one alongside it just to kind of see how they compare and maybe even use them together. So um, yeah, the Avocado Sleep Set. Um, I think this was 39 on sale on Glow Recipe right now. So that's cheaper than just the product itself, but you get the eye mask. So kind of a bonus. All right. So that was everything from Glow Recipe, just some sheet masks and a sleeping mask. Um, let's jump in with the next one, and that's going to be from Sogo Glam. Let me grab that. This is big, a big box considering what I think I got. So let's see. Oh, lots of packaging. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a big box for this, but okay. Um, so let me just move this over here. Um, the first thing that I wanted to go over is, or yeah, talk about is the M British Urban Matte, is it clay? Yeah, Urban Matte Clay. I'm gonna move you over here. Um, I, this was curated in April. It's one of their newer curations. And I used the M British Hair Butter I think it was last summer is when I got that, and I loved that stuff. It's a, a deeply hydrating, you can either use it as a hair treatment, so leave it in, um, you can even put like a warm towel on it and then rinse it out, or you can use it in smaller amounts as a leave-in, and I used it as a leave-in because my curly hair um, tends to need a lot of like that deeper like leave-in conditioner throughout the day, otherwise it just gets really poofy and frizzy. And so I loved that stuff. It was it was pretty oil-based and really heavy, so I think those with finer hair might not like the weight of it for a leave-in. Um, maybe even as a rinse-out mask, it might be too much. But I ended up loving that product. And so when um, Charlotte did her, her um, April Curations video and I saw this product from M British, get curated I was super excited because I love just a nice basic like matte um, fresh smelling clay just something really simple I usually go for like a dove or 
a, the Axe brand of whatever their, their hair styling products are. But sometimes those do dry out my hair quite a bit. So I was running low on the one that I have from Dove. I'm, I actually just used the last bit of it today. And so this one is it has like a matte finish from what she was saying. You can even use it on longer hair um, to like calm down flyaways and frizziness and just kind of create, I guess, maybe more of a PC look. Uh, but oh that smells great it has just it's just a really classic scent it's not too masculine or anything like that it's just kind of like a clean scent and you can kind of almost smell the clay a little bit so um i'm interested in giving it a try um i'm not too much of a connoisseur when it comes to hair styling products or hair care products i'm more about the skincare so um i i don't know i'm i figure it got curated um charlotte seems to like it so and I usually trust her judgment on things so um, I'm gonna give this one a shot and then the thing that I was I was here for pretty much this whole unboxing I was most excited about out of everything was the or is the da, 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 um, the new oh this is a really reflective package the neogen real Vita C uh, powder lemon. Um, I have, I got the full size and then they sent a little deluxe sample size as well. Oh, that's a little baby. Um, uh, but yeah, they sent a, a sample size as well. Oh, that's cute. Um, I'm going to actually open this just because I want to see what the packaging looks like on the inside. Um, but yeah, I haven't used a vitamin C power yet, a uh, powder yet. I've used the Coaster X Triple C Lightning Liquid. Um, I've, I'm just about to put together a review for the... Glow Recipe Pineapple C Bright or Bright C Serum. Um, that's their vitamin C product. Um, and then I have the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin C. I haven't gotten around to using that one yet. Um, so it'll probably be a while before I get to that one. Um, I, the expiration date still says I have plenty of time. Um, and then it might be a little bit before I get to this one too, um, but I'm comfortable with that because it's powder. And so oh, it's gonna have a little thing. Yeah, I don't wanna peel that off. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a powder format vitamin C. And what's nice about these, at least from what I've read, is because they're in a powder form, they're a little bit more stable. You don't have to keep it refrigerated. Um, you don't have to be super, super careful with it like you do with a liquid or a fluid vitamin C. And then it comes with just this little spoon in here. And then that gives you that right dose just to pop into an essence or pop into another serum. Or right? you probably could even do it into a moisturizer just to give yourself that boost of vitamin C. So it's a little bit more approachable as far as vitamin C goes, as opposed to something else that might be more um, delicate um, day to day use. And it's 17%, which is pretty darn good. So I'm excited to give those guys a try and um, see how they do. Expect a review. I'd say it's probably going to be at least a month <laughs> before I get to them just because I have so m I have a lot of that glow recipe um, serum to get through. And um, so, yeah, it might be a little bit, but keep uh, stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for that. And then last few things almost done. Um, let's keep it in uh, the Neogen world. I picked this up off of Amazon over the weekend. It's the Neogen Vita Duo Cream, Joan Day, Joan Night Cream. I have heard... A lot of mixed reviews about this product. Um, some people really, really like it. A couple people on a Facebook group that I belong to were like, oh, I can't stand this product, yada, yada, yada. So it's just been so much back and forth. And usually I like to wait just a little bit sometimes just to see how people feel. But um, because there's so many mixed reviews, I'm just going to see for myself and see how I like it. But I already opened this earlier just to take a look at it. But I love the little... Um, the little message from Joan. She's such a good YouTuber and such a good content provider and kind of one of the reasons why I got so excited about visiting Korea this coming fall um, is because she provides such good recommendations and her skin's always amazing. And um, so yeah, so it's a day and night cream. I love the color of this packaging. Um, and so you actually get two creams in one. So you get the night cream, which is actually the thinner one, which is surprising. And then the day cream, which is the thicker one. But the consistencies look really nice. The colors are beautiful. I've smelled them already and they both smell really, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to using them both. And like I said, I, I usually would not be the type of person that would go for a cream, especially a day cream, um, because my skin has 
historically been a little oily or combination. So I, that, that kind of consistency or something heavier used to scare me. But now that my skin's improving and I'm able to use um, some heavier products to get some more nourishment out of them, this seems like a really, really good option. So I'm hoping that I fall on the love it side of this, um, this product from Neogen and Joan. So yeah, last thing, or last things. Um, I actually did a um, sheet mask review on my blog and on Instagram on Sunday for a six part sheet mask set that I did all throughout last week. So every day I was using a different one of these sheet masks and it's actually from Peach and Lily's sister brand called Peach Slices. And I got those a while back. I'll do a full review of them. I'm just gonna do it, just give you a little bit of backstory. I got them a while ago and they've been kind of sitting in my, my drawer because I just was like, okay, well they seem to be I hate to say it, but they almost seem like, okay, well, this is the value or the bargain brand versus the actual Peach and Lily sheet masks. So I was like, I'll get to them when I get to them. Um, not that excited or, you know, really looking forward to using them necessarily. They were just in my stash and something that I had picked up. And so um, I used some other Peach and Lily products, obviously, since I bought them. Absolutely love the Peach and Lily products, the, the I guess, the flagship brand. And so I was like, let, let me go back to those. I ended up loving them even after like the third day I was in love. So we'll, we'll, we'll not talk about specifics um, until I do that review, which will be later this week. I'll do a video for them. But after using the third one, I was like, must have all Peach Slices things because they, they were really good. And so I went to CVS um, over the weekend, um, this past weekend, and picked up a few things from the line. Not everything, um, but just a few things. Um, so I got the Peach Light, uh, Peach Slices Starlit Glow Shimmer and Calm Strawberry plus Collagen Highlighting Moisturizer. Oh, that's a lot. Um, so this is one of their moisturizers. Um, I actually also have the, I forgot to grab it, the, I think it's the Honey Glow or the Aqua Glow Honey Moisturizer. I have that in my stash as well, but um, pick this one up. It's supposed to be um, soothing and hydrating moisturizer, but that also gives you like a bit of a highlight or a shimmer. So I'm really curious about this to see how, just how intense it is, because I, I personally probably wouldn't like anything super intense. Um, I would probably put it under my BB cushion on days that I wore it for some extra glow or depending on how intense it is, I probably wouldn't wear it by itself, but we'll see. I'm excited to give it a try. Um, next one is the Peach Pudding Makeup Cleanser. Um, so um, just kind of used as your makeup remover or I guess instead of your, your oil cleansing step. Um, looked interesting. I love the smell of peaches and um, it was, this is all really affordable, by the way. So this, I think it was $10 and this was like seven or $8. So, um, so yeah, um, kind of a makeup removing oil cleanser, first step cleanser. And then I got a few more sheet masks. So the ones that I used were the Aqua Glow sheet masks and I really liked those. And so I picked up the pineapple, mango and pomegranate popsicle or peace popsicle sheet masks. Um, I just, I think the reason I didn't pick them up originally, because I've seen them at CVS, you know, going going in and shopping for other K-Beauty products. I think the packaging is what turned me off. I was, I, I was like, eh, I, I don't know. But those Aqua Glow masks were awesome. I'll talk about it more later on this week. But the ingredients seem to fall in line with those masks. The same kind of formulation and key features and benefits seem to be the same. They're just in fun packaging. So I don't think anything's lost on the, the fun packaging. It's just kind of a bonus to some really effective and well-formulated products. So I think I, I kind of changed, it changed my mind using the Aqua Glow mask. So here I am with a bunch more of their stuff. So popsicle sheet masks, and then the ice cream sheet masks come in banana, blueberry, and strawberry. So look uh, for reviews on all of this stuff that I went over today. Um, over the summer. Obviously, I won't be able to get to it all immediately, but leave in the comments below if there's a certain product out of what you've seen here that you are super interested in and, and hope that I would do sooner than later, because I will make sure to prioritize some over the others as long as the expiration dates all fall in line. I don't want to skip something else in my stash and then have it expire. So 
yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, look for a, a product review video on Thursday and then probably a sheet mask review video on Friday or Saturday. So um, thanks for supporting this channel. Leave comments for any suggestions or advice you can give me on how to uh, better provide content. And as always, stay glowing.